what's up everybody this is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again and what you guys are gonna see today is an introduction video of our girl here Killinois Kennels Dior like I've told you guys in previous videos we have a lot of badass American bullies that we've never even showed you guys a lot of dogs that are young and up and coming and this girl is just one of them just wait till you guys see some of the new stuff that we're gonna be showing you here in the next couple months this girl Dior here is going to be the mother of the next litter of American Bully puppies that we're going to be having dropping on the channel. This is the second litter that I was telling you guys about. You know, we had a real small litter with this litter as well, but no worries. The next litter of American Bully puppies that we'll be dropping after this, we're going to have a litter of nine pups. The reason we drop these introduction videos, it gives us some time to really give you a look at these dogs, you know what I mean? In this video, we're gonna have a lot more footage of Dior rather than in the breeding and the puppy videos that'll be coming after that. This girl Dior is a really nice American bully though, man. This girl's put together really well. She's got real nice bone, real nice head, real nice chest, girth just all around top-notch American bully female that looks like a male and like I've always told you guys before you know we feel a kennel is only as strong as his bitches you know what I mean you can have a real nice male in a decent yard but if you don't have top-notch bitches you're not gonna be producing top-notch puppies you know and that's why we take a lot of pride in our females over here and this is again just another one of the many amazing females that we have on the yard and that that we haven't showed you we've been having a lot of people reach out through phone and by email you know contacting us about the last litter of american bully puppies that we dropped on the channel you know they're saying that they missed out and you know they didn't get the notification till two three days later you know and i've been asking a lot of other people have they been getting our notifications and stuff and a lot of people been saying that they've been getting their notifications late so you know if any of you guys haven't been getting the notifications for our videos and you know or just randomly coming across our videos let us know in the comment section so again this is our girl Killinois kennels dior and she's gonna be the mother of the next litter of american bully puppies that we're gonna have on the channel now we're gonna go ahead and move on and break down her pedigree in our last video that we put up on the channel we asked you guys who you thought dior was off of well, this right here is gonna be Dior's half-sister. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Chi-Chi. She's also gonna be the half-sister to our girl, Killinois Kennels Prada right here. And make sure you guys stay tuned. We got some really big things going down with Chi-Chi and Prada here really soon. But now let's go ahead and move on to Dior's pedigree. This right here is gonna be Dior's father. This is our boy, Ninja. This boy is one of our studs that we got on the yard over here. And as you can see, Ninja just throws it down. Look at Dior, Prada, and Chi Chi, and many, many more. This right here is Ninja's father. This is Asian Squad's Yo Gotti. He come off of a Midwest collaboration breeding between Pachuco Pitt's Playboy right here and Asian Squad's Sasha. She was the litter mate to Asian Squad's Q-Ball, which came off of our boy here, Illinois Kennels Enzo, one of our foundation studs and one of Debo's best sons. Enzo right here was produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. He come out of our boy here, Killinois Kennels Debo. Well, again, one of our foundation studs in a Midwest legend. This dog's got blood all over the world. And he was the dog that really put Killinois Kennels on the map early on on the bully world. Everybody loved Debo and people used him all over the United States. And like I said, he's got blood all over the world. This right here is gonna be Enzo's mother. This is our girl, Killinois Cashmere. And with that being said, it makes Enzo heavy bread on the Daz and Madness blood. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Dior's mother side of the pedigree, which actually makes her different from Chi Chi and Prada. She goes back to our boy here, Killinois Kennels White Folks, one of our main studs and what our subscribers and supporters have named top producer of the yard. This right here is white folks' father, our boy, Killinois Kennels Primrose, a real badass male with a pedigree like none other. 
He comes off of our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, one of our foundation studs on the yard. Rocky comes off of Devil's Den's Viper and our girl Envy, our short shot and steel daughter. So the pedigree is insane behind this dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Primrose Mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Prodigy. She goes back to a real nice Razor's Edge combination from Hennessy and Paradise. It's pretty much the same combination that made the Samurai Paco. The only difference is, is you got Razor's Edge Row to Paradise rather than Hennessy to Paradise. Either way, it's gonna be a Cairo son to a short shot daughter. This right here is white folks' mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity. She come off of breeding between Razor's Edge Primetime, a real badass smoky son, and our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance, a real badass dominator daughter. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bottom side of Dior's mother's pedigree, and this is our girl, Molly. She's a real badass female that we used to own back in the day. She comes off of this boy, Cash Pot, one of Dax's best sons. And of course, you know, him being Dax's son, he come off of this badass boy, Gotti Lines Dax here. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and his creator, Ed Shepard. Well, that's it for the video of our girl, Dior. Make sure you guys stay tuned though. We still got a lot of video left. I want to send a huge shout out to Jay for coming down here and picking up one of the males out of Vanilla Gorilla and Juliet. You know, big shout out to him, man, and welcome to the Killinois family. I want to say the same to the our boy Devin here. He picked up one of the males off of that litter as well, man. And again, for anybody that's interested in some nice, extreme show quality American bullies, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Now we're going to go ahead and show you guys a couple sneak peeks on the things we've been working on behind the scenes. This is one of our booth setups we're going to be using to take to shows. Here's some of our hats, man. We got several different designs coming. Like I said, we're just working out the kinks. You know, here's a couple different looks, but man, so far so good. Let us know in the comments which one of these hats was your guys' favorite hats and which one you think we should go with for our first drop. So we got the hats, we got the booth setups, we got our t-shirts, we're all decked out, but you already know we couldn't go without having our dogs decked out too. Here's one of the looks at some of the collars that we're going to be rocking. We also got another design coming as well. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I've been telling you guys for a long time that we've been working on some things behind the scenes. The main focus of this video is showing you guys better than I can tell you. And we got several different t-shirt designs coming that is not even in this video. But I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of all the things that we've been working on. I want to send a huge shout out to everybody that picked up a pup out of the Napoleon and Xena litter. I want to welcome all you guys to the Killinois family. And all these pups are already in their new homes. I also want to send a big shout out to Doug Bisbee and his family for picking up the Fawn Boy. They sent us a real nice picture of him. And you know, Doug's been a subscriber to the channel for a long time. He always comments and likes our videos and shares them with his friends and stuff like that, man. And those are the type of people that we want our dogs going to. For anyone else that has picked up a pup from one of our litters and feels like they might have been left out, man, all you guys got to do is send me some pictures and some videos and we'll go ahead and feature you guys on the channel. This right here is a text that Doug sent me a couple days after having his dog and stuff, man. And these are the type of messages that we like to see. Right here it says, it's all good, Dayton. He's such a great dog. His temperament is amazing. My one-year-old daughter is his best friend. She constantly is in his face, laying on him, giving him toys, taking them away, also putting her hands in his food while he's eating. He just loves her without one bit of aggression. He's just so calm and loving. Thank you for recommending him. I want to publicly thank Doug and his family for taking such good care of this boy and giving him a loving home. Also to everybody else that we've been selling our dogs to. Fortunately, we've been putting our dogs in some really, really good homes, and we couldn't be happier. Big shout out to everybody that's a part of the Killinois family and is doing their things with their dogs. If you haven't already, make sure you guys get over there to Instagram, follow us at Killinois underscore kennels, and also follow OG Bully Block Radio. 
Every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time, we go live from that OG Bully Block radio page. We do a live broadcast with my partner Kev Green from the BRC Global. They make out for some real good lives. We haven't been on there a lot here lately. Right now, we're working on some things that are going to make the lives a lot better. We're going to be able to bring on guests. It's going to be an all-around better experience, and we're going to be able to broadcast it across all social media. So we're working on some big things. We will be back. Make sure you guys get over there and follow those pages. I want to send a huge shout-out to everybody that shows love on our channel, hits the like button, comments, shares our videos, tells their friends about our channel. We just blew past 35,000 subscribers, and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. So again, big shout out to all you guys that show love on the channel. If you watch this video all the way through, leave the words Killinoy Kennels in the comment section, and make sure you guys stay tuned, man. We got tons of good stuff coming up. We got merch, new breedings, new customer updates, new show vlogs, the whole nine yards. So thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.